if a equal to 2 and b equal to 3 then find the value of each of the following so for the first one it is a raised to a plus b raised to b now we know a is equal to 2 so 2 raised to 2 and b is equal to 3 so it is 3 raised to 3 now 2 raised to 2 is 2 into 2 that is 4 and 3 raised to 3 is 3 into 3 into 3 that is 27 so the answer for this is 31 for the second sum it is a raised to b plus b raised to a now a is equal to 2 so I put 2 here b is equal to 3 so 3 we know b is 3 and a is 2 so 2 raised to 3 is 2 into 2 into 2 which is 8 and 3 raised to 2 is 3 into 3 that is 9 so I have 8 plus 9 which is equal to 17 for the third one it is a raised to b our a is 2 and our b is 3 so 2 into 2 into 2 and that would be 8 for the fourth one it is a over b raised to a we know a is 2 and b is 3 raised to a and a is 2 which means it is 2 raised to 2 over 3 raised to 2 and that is 4 over 9 for the fifth one 1 over a plus 1 over b raised to a 1 over a a is 2 1 over b b is 3 whole thing raised to 2 here in the in the bracket we need to take the LCM and the LCM is 6 so we will do here 6 means into 3 into 3 and for 3 to become 6 into 2 into 2 so we'll have here 3 plus 2 which is equal to raised to 2 5 by 6 raised to 2 5 raised to 2 25 6 raised to 2 36 simplify 3 a raised to 4 b raised to 3 into 18 a raised to 3 b raised to 5 so we put the similar terms together here is 3 and 18 we will put together then we have a here and this a we put together and the b and b together so we'll have 3 into 8 a raised to 4 and a raised to 3 together b raised to 3 and b raised to 5 3 eighths are 54 here we use our law so it will be 4 and 3 we will add them up here b 3 plus 5 so this is 54 a raised to 7 and b raised to 8 3 a raised to 7 b raised to 6 over 18 a raised to 6 b raised to 8 so we'll put the like terms together it is 3 over 18 Then here is a raised to 7 over a raised to 6, b raised to 6 and b raised to 8. For 18 I will cancel, this will be 6, so I will have here 1 over 6. Now a raised to 7, a raised to 6, they are divided, so I subtract the powers. For b raised to 6, b raised to 8, it is divided, so I subtract the powers. So 1 by 6, a 7 minus 6 is 1, 6 minus 8 is minus 2. So this is minus 2a square over b cube whole thing raised to 3. Now this power 3 has to be shared by all. It has to be taken by a, it will be taken here and it will also be taken here. So it, you will get now minus 2 raised to 3. 
this is a square also raised to 3 and you have b 3 also raised to 3. The minus 2 into minus 2 into minus 2 is minus 8. Here a 2 raised to 3, you will have to multiply these so it will be a 2 into 3. And here for b also we will have to multiply both these so it will be 3 into 3. So this will be minus 8 a raised to 6 over b raised to 9. Simplify each of the following. We we'll take up the first one. This is 6, 25 raised to minus 1 by 4. Now 6, 25 is 5 into 5 4 times raised to minus 1 by 4. So this will be now 5 raised to 4 raised into 1 by 4. Now by the law we have a raised to m raised to n equal to a m into n. So I have to multiply m into n. So I get here 5 4 into minus 1 by 4. That is 5 raised to minus 1. And 5 raised to minus 1 is 1 over 5. 256 over 81 raised to 5 by 4. Now if you do prime factorization of 256, you will realize that 256 is 4 into 4 into 4, 4 times. So 4 raised to 4. And 81 is 3 raised to 4. Means when you do short division, you will get 3, 27, 3, 9, 3, 3. This whole thing raised to 5 by 4. Now it is 4 raised to 4 and 3 also raised to 4. So I will put a common 4 over 3 raised to 4. And now I am going to use this bracket. I am going to put this bracket out here. And this will be 5 by 4. Now I need to multiply these two powers. So I will now get 4 by 3 bracket 4 into 5 by 4. The 4, 4 will cancel out and you will end up with 4 over 3 raised to 5. So 4 raised to 5 is 4, 4, 4, 5 times which is 1, 0, 2, 4. And 3 raised to 5 is 3 is 243. 243. 243 over 32 raised to minus 4 by 5. If you do the short division of 243, it will be 3 into 3 into 3, 3, 3, 5 times. So 3 raised to 5. And if you do the short division of 32, you will get it as 2 into 2 into 2, 2 into 2. And that would be 2 raised to 5. So I'll put these values. First I have my outer bracket here which is minus 4 by 5 and 243 I will write as 3 raised to 5 32 I will write as 2 raised to 5. Now again I have the outer bracket which is minus 4 by 5 but inside here I'll put 3 over 2 raised to 1 common 5 for both. Now using the law m raised to n equal to n into n. So this m into n has to be multiplied. So we have 3 over 2, 5 into minus 4 by 5. So I'll cancel the 5. So we have 3 by 2 raised to minus 4. Now this minus 4, if I want to make it into plus 4, I have to take the reciprocal of the base. The base is here 3 by 2, so it becomes 2 by 3. So here it will be 2 raised to 4 over 3 raised to 4. And 2 raised to 4 is 16, 3 raised to 4 is 81. 
We need to simplify these two sums. For the first one, to do this first, we will write the outer bracket as it is. We start solving from within. This bracket also we will write as it is, minus 1 by 4. Now for the innermost bracket, for the 625, I know is 5 raised to 4. And this whole thing is 1 by 2. So I put here minus 1 by 2. Now all these three powers I need to multiply. 4, 1 by and the 2. So I go ahead and multiply all these powers. So I have 5, 4 into minus 1 by 2 into minus 1 by 4 into 2. So let me reduce it now. This minus into minus is plus. So I have 5 raised to plus 1. So the answer is 5. Now the next one is 256 minus 4 raised to 3 over 2 minus. What I'm going to do is first I need to solve this part. Let me solve this first. So that is 4 minus 3 by 2. 4 is 2 raised to 2. And that would be minus 3 by 2. So that will be 2, 2 into minus 3 by 2. You cancel this. 2 raised to minus 3. And this 2 raised to minus 3, to make it plus 3, I have to take reciprocal of the base. So if it's 2, it becomes 1 by 2. This is 3. So I have now 1 by 2 raised to 3, which is 1 by 8. So I go back and write the sum again. So I have 256 minus 1 by 8. Now 256 is 2 raised to 8 into minus. So I need now to multiply m into n. So I have 2 raised to 8 into minus 1 by 8 which is 2 raised to minus 1. And 2 raised to minus 1 is 1 by 2. Let me explain that sum again. So this is what the how the sum is given to me. There is a bracket here. So I will go ahead and just solve this. That is 4 minus 3 by 2. 4 is 2 raised to 2 into minus 3 by 2. So it will be 2 raised to minus 3, which is 1 by 2 raised to 3 and 1 by 8. So for the 256 minus, I have found the value of this as 1 by 8. So I am putting minus 1 by 8. So 256 is 2 raised to 8 and into minus 1 by 8. So 2 raised to 8 into minus 1 by 8, that is 2 raised to minus 1, which is 1 by 2. Here it's 18, not 54.